Okay, here we are at a bridge. Don't know the name of it. It didn't have a sign up there, I don't think. It was a uh, mile marker 276, I believe it was. And, uh, yeah, there it is, 276. We just got done taking a shower. The damage is done. There is soapy water on the ground. But, man... Been wanting to take a shower for the last million and a half years. I don't know. Finally found a good place. It's a nice warm day. The water was still a little bit cool, but not too bad. I've taken colder showers before. Cleaned up with colder water before. Just going to let everything dry out and everything. But here's something that I found very peculiar. It's like a civilization that ceased to exist anymore after a while. Like the, what do they call it? The Anasazi or something like that. But look at that. And over there on that other beam thing. They were once here. Them birds that fly around and everything. That catch the mosquitoes and stuff. And they're gone. They just deserted their abode they deserted everything and left was it the climate change maybe a disease not enough food too much traffic going over it what happened and as you can see this was built in 1959 so, uh, but I don't think those things are as old as 1959. But could be. Maybe they've been gone for a long time. I don't know. Pretty strange how they just all up and left. They're gone. Maybe the water's contaminated and it killed everything. Maybe it's the shift of the earth. They threw them off, and so they had to leave. Maybe they found better food somewhere else. Who knows? But we do know this. This water does kill. It's very dangerous. It may look real peaceful and everything, but it is very, very dangerous. Look at that. I want you to look at that. That's one of the last of the dinosaurs. It's a dinosaur skeleton. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? What is that? And it stinks when the water blows the wrong way. I mean, not the water, the wind. When the wind blows the wrong way, it kind of stinks. Could be a... I don't know. Maybe it's a Neanderthal, a Sasquatch. I don't know. Show us thing. And over there, see this is a this is a river, more than likely what they call them, a river. And uh, yeah, they have uh, one-man submarines that come through this. And then when they come in here, they lift up that uh, gate right there and they just go right in there. It's an undercover bunker. Top secret. They don't want anybody to know about it, but I found it. And there's where they climb out over there. I'm not for sure, but this is just a theory I'm working on. I'm glad nobody messed with me come down here. It looks kind of heavily traveled but by tractors, AG 2003. I almost took a shower right here, but I figured they could see me. Wasn't for sure. But look at that, isn't that wonderful? No corn, no uh, wheat, no soybeans. Just good prairie land. It's so nice to see something other than corn. Now, we do have corn. 
we just try not to look at that area. You know, look at everything other than that. Been looking at corn for the last three months or so. Two or three months. It's ah, kind of tired of looking at corn and wheat and uh, what else? Soybeans. <sighs> yep, we got tracks. Yep, him and tracks. I believe somebody has been here. It's kind of big too. Big tracks. Might be a dog. But yeah, so glad to have this fridge to clean up, you know, take a shower. You're supposed to be able to take a shower, good shower, with uh, two liters of water. Or not two liters, two two liters. Four liters of water. Well, I didn't quite make it. Well, maybe I did. Used three, four liters. But I could have used that rest of that big liter there. I could have sure used that. But I got a, I done okay. I'm uh, 20 miles, I think, from Leola. I think it's the name of the town. And then uh, 55 miles from Eureka. I'm on, uh, I think, the 10. I got off the got off the what do you call it the 281 i'm telling you when you're when you're on the road and you've been on the same road for a long time and it's just one i don't know kind of depressing or bad situation from town to town you know i don't know it's just so nice to get on a different road it's like taking a shower you know it's just really nice to get cleaned up it's really nice to just get off that road it's like a ton of bricks taken off your shoulders you're just I don't know I've been on that 281 since Millet rode it all the way to Jamestown all the way back through Aberdeen all the way to Jamestown all the way and uh, yeah, I'm about, uh, I don't know, three or four miles away from, uh, what do you call it? What was that town I stayed in? Barn Barnard? Barnard? Barnyard. Barnard. And uh, a very small town. Uh, my stealth camping techniques are need some improvement. I... They knew I was there, everybody around there, but, you know, well, not everybody, but some people knew I was there, but nobody messed with me. I don't think there's enough people in the town to care. You, you got to have, I don't know, seven, eight hundred people in the town to, for anybody to care. They don't, they don't care in small towns. It's like, yeah, whatever. Some of them's even happy. Shoot ya, you can stay at our can't, our uh, park, you know. They're glad to help you out. Think it's pretty neat. They like driving by and looking at your bike and trailer and tent and everything. They think it's pretty cool. I met some guy. He owned a he owned a 2000 Harley Davidson. Traveled 28 states. So he says he could really appreciate what I was doing. He thought it was pretty neat. Uh, where I was at, the 387 was uh, dirt. But there was a little bit of area that was gravel, I mean, uh, pavement. So I stopped him and he uh, told me, he says, yeah, no. He says, it's gravel after you get out of town. He says, your best bet's to go to 281. So I went to the 281 and rode, I don't know, two miles or so. I don't, not very far. And I found this tin. It's amazing in this area. Check it out on a map. The 387 that I turned on last night, I got off the 281, headed east on 112, or what is known as SD, South Dakota 10. So I turned on the 387 going south into Barnard, and the sign says 10, Highway 10, or State Route 10, whatever. 
and it's kind of like man they name every road around here 10 so then i cruise uh, south a little bit out of uh down 281 while well, i head back from bernard to 281 and then cruise south a little bit and wow here's the 10 again 10 going west it's like man around here every road is the 10 kind of strange but uh yeah leola's 20 miles away probably 19 or 18 from here i think i've done a mile or so and as you can see nobody's around that was really nice nobody came down here this might be a fishing hole or something uh yeah that dead carcass uh my grandpa used to tell me he'd say he'd say you know what makes water taste good out of a stream he says when you've got a big uh, drank a big bunch of water and then walk upstream and see a dead cow laying in the creek. He says, that's when the water really tastes good. <laughs> and it's kind of like, yeah, you might as well better think that, you know, otherwise you probably start puking. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I like seeing something other than corn. I love it. I'm wanting to see some desert or something, you know. And that light green, look at over there, light green scrub brush. That is really beautiful compared to corn. I don't know. So yeah, we got to make it to 20 miles on a liter of water. It won't be that bad. Oh, look at that. Wow, more water. It just got water everywhere. Yeah, pretty neat. Go fishing. I don't fish, but and people ask me a lot. You go fishing? And I'm like, no. I mean, that, I don't know. Be kind of crazy. You'd have to buy a fishing license in every state you want to fish in. It's like, no way. Of course, I ain't got time to sit around and wait for a fish to bite. Need to be editing videos or sitting at the library or near Wi-Fi checking out the route, see where I'm gonna stay. I forget the name of the town. What's that town? There's another town. It's like 20 miles to Leola, and then you head south uh, to another town. I can't think of the name of the town, but uh, yeah, starts with a. B, it seems like I don't remember but yeah I'm thinking about going to Leola and heading south and uh, I'll go to another major road and uh, take a right and head west a little bit and there'll be a town there I don't know I gotta find some Wi-Fi to see if they how the cemeteries looking or how the parks are looking it's a good place to bed down but yeah, it's 20 miles to Leola and then 24 miles to this town, 25 miles to this town, so that'd be 45 miles. Or I can just go straight on this road into Eureka. Eureka, baby! So I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's just really nice to... I got so sick and tired of being on that 281 and those towns, this... They weren't that enjoyable. They were kind of, I don't know. It really makes you, was making me depressed and not liking it and everything. It was just, I don't know. I guess if you stay on a road long enough, you get tired of it. And so you want to, but man, just turning off the road to get on this road, just turning off that 281 to get off this road was like, Wow, this is so nice, you know. I'm heading in a different direction. I guess I maybe I was dreading going through Aberdeen or something. Or heading back down through the, an area that I've already went. And I didn't like it. I don't know. I guess I'm ready to go see something different. But yeah, it was just was really happy, uplifting, you know. Make your day kind of thing just to get off that 281 
I don't know how the terrain's going to be. I hope it ain't hilly like this all the way. But, yeah, I think somewhere south there's a town called Richard, and then it sh should start uh, flattening out. If I go down that way, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm wanting to not go down that 281. It would have been a nice road to go down. It's nice and flat and good riding road. It's got a good shoulder on it, you know. It's really good road. It's flat and shoulder and not that much traffic and just a really good road and but I don't know I was just getting really tired of it so yeah I hope there ain't no I hope there ain't too much of this hills and so far this is the biggest hills I've come across and it, it's uh I know these seem pretty sharp but uh, the way they're making the roads, it's uh, real slanted, you know, not a steep grade. And as long as it's not a steep grade, I'm good with it. Uh, the wind's blowing from the southeast, I believe, or south. And uh, the high today is to be in the mid-80s. And what else? The low is going to be in the mid-60s or low-60s, which ain't good. That's kind of hot. I like it in the 50s, and that's what it's been lately, is in the 50s. It's been in the low 80s, so, I don't know, it'll be a little bit warmer than usual. But I got that tent, you know, which is really nice. Oh, man, is it nice. That other tent just wouldn't let air come in. This tent, since it's got screen halfway up, it lets quite a bit of air in, and I sleep really, really comfortable. Really, really good. So, yeah, here we are at a river in South Dakota, and I'll talk to you later.